Hey guys, I wanted to just kind of talk about oryx hunting in southern New Mexico. Um, I've been hunting oryx since about 97. Uh, I work on a big ranch out in southern New Mexico. We have a lot of oryx on our place. And uh, we do depredation hunts to try to control the population. Um, but anyway, it's a lot of, you know, driving, a lot of... Uh, glassing till you find them sometimes you can drive up on them but they get pretty they get pretty worried wary pretty quick um but a lot of times what i'll do is i have i have certain places and this is one of them that i you know my glassing spots that i like to come glass from uh, i know there's oryx in the i study these i come out here and do this stuff especially in the fall this is uh August 27th um, This is about when I come out and start doing it might be a little bit early But uh, start seeing what the orcs are doing last year. We have a big Mesa here back to the northeast and last fall I Would come and and glass and I would notice that every evening You'd see nothing in this Mesa until about an hour before sunset and then all of a sudden through the mesquites you just see orcs start coming out by the groves and uh, i think the biggest group i ever counted was uh well me and a buddy sat in this one spot one time and counted over a hundred but of course we sometimes we were looking really far off um but anyway getting back to what our strategies that i use for hunting oryx is i like to get up glass get set like right here find some oryx figure out what they're doing if they're just hanging out if they're moving because a lot of times oryx just start walking they're traveling and then you got to kind of figure out how to get in front of them um, and then we'll have uh, have the hunters go around and I'll usually or have the hunters walk from where I'm at and I will walk the hunters to them because like right now I'm on a ridge and I can see those oryx good but when you drop off this ridge everything changes and the hunters might uh, how many times hunters have said man i got off that ridge there away from you and it the whole world changed i could i had no idea where they were and a lot of times what i'll do is i'll watch the uh i'll watch the oryx and uh i'll try to keep the hunters uh in my viewfinder and i'll tell them you know raise your hand like you're pointing and they'll raise their hand and I'm watching them through the glasses and I'll say turn to your point to your right a little more and they'll point to the right and I'll be like now point straight and I'll point right a little more right a little more the orcs are right there so then they know where the orcs are at they might not be able to see them but they know where they are and that works a lot it works really well as long as they down there in the field watches they need to watch the wind because i don't know what the wind's doing down there i'm watching some more right now that's why i'm moving my see there's three i didn't see and i've been here almost an hour and three of them are laying down and got up um but anyway if they need to watch the wind um so whenever they have to get off to the right or to the left and the oryx are straight in front of me and the hunters are over here to my right a ways then it's kind of hard for me to walk them straight to them because they're off to the side and i can't tell exactly but i can at least tell them you know the orcs are still there they laid down or or they're alerted like they're looking at you or something like that so yeah y'all can try that it definitely works uh, it's worked a lot more for me than it has not so Anyway, y'all have a good one.